G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. So I wanted to do a follow-up video from uh, one I did about four days ago where I talked about some non-profitable trades uh, and things that I was hoping uh, would happen. But before we jump into that, market cap continues to go up. So we're easily above that 400 sort of billion now, 402 billion uh, and uh, rising at the moment. So, you know, good news, uh, you know, on the bullish side of things, the market cap does continue to grow. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it falls under 400 billion again, but I, I don't see it going down to the kind of, you know, $380 billion mark again uh, anytime soon anyway. It's not to say it couldn't do it in the future, but looking promising. But let's go have a look at some of the trades. So let's go over to Unibright. So again, Unibright, this is roughly where I bought in. So it doesn't show up uh, the price uh, on this one. Uh, or at least the candles don't match up with the price that uh, I bought in. But this is where I roughly bought in, around about here uh, and back on the 24th of May. And since then, uh, it's basically just gone down and down. But again, I unfortunately didn't check the charts when I bought in uh, and I've sort of paid the price. But there is something that I'm noticing and I want you to tell me whether you would stick with this trade or whether you would sell and get out. So obviously I got in here and we just sold off. And so we hit this low. Pumped up, set another low, but this low was a little bit higher. Pumped up, the low was a little bit higher. And then it pumped up again, but then we set a lower low. So that was a bit concerning. Uh, then the next low uh, was a little bit higher, but then the next low was quite low. But what I'm looking for here is hopefully a bit of a W pattern. So we've set a low. And we didn't set another uh, lower low, we set higher low. So we've come up, we've set a higher low, and now we seem to be sort of stuck in this kind of limbo here. And what I'm hoping, because we can see there's a bit of a, a cross here on the moving averages, so I'm hoping that this will start to pump up higher and we can get back. But again, the overall trend, just not the short term trend, is if we put in a trend line here, we can basically go from down here And we'll stretch that out across there. So again, the trend is it is still going up in the long term, just not in the short term. So unfortunately, I'm hurting here. I got in here and uh, I, I've just seen losses. I think I'm around about a 30% loss thereabouts from where I got in. So uh, it is hurting at the moment, but I am just watching this trend line here to see if we're going to break below because we've basically bounced off it here. And currently, I am looking for this bit of a W pattern. So as we can see here, it's come down, it's come up, it's come down, and I am hoping that it pushes up. Now whether it'll make it here and bounce off or not, and then start to go higher, we'll have to wait and see. It might only make it to here, sell off a little bit, and it may take me quite some time to get back up here. But I believe in the Unibright project, uh, and I believe in the long term, I'll get my money back. But let me know what you think. Would you be out of this uh, trade? Would you be, you know, just accepting the loss uh, and putting it into something else? Or would you simply hold? Because something that people don't factor in is when you're kind of day trading, you're going to pay higher taxes. If you buy and hold for 12 months, at least here in Australia, and I know it's the same over in the States, you get taxed less. So really, unless I'm kind of forced to, I don't want to sell something uh, under 12 months uh, if I don't have to. Now, don't get me wrong, I do do it. It's not that I don't ever do it. But if I can hold something for 12 months, then I'm going to pay around about sort of half, no, not quite half, but anyway, about three quarters of the tax that I will pay if I just trade this within the next 12 months. So again, I'm hoping that this is that W pattern. So we set a low, it pumps up, and then we set a higher low, and then it really starts to break out. And again, even if we don't reach here anytime soon, I am hoping that it's going to pull back here and eventually hit here and push higher. You know, Unibright's got some promising partnerships coming up and it still is early in the piece for Unibright. They haven't been around for that long and it's just early in the cycle in general. So let me know what you think. Would you hold like I'm planning to do or would you sell? Would you get out and just find somewhere better where the profits are, you know, are at the moment uh, and not worry about this kind of downturn for a little while? Let's go over to Verge. So Verge. So I got in back here and I watched Verge pump and I didn't take any profits, but again, I really wanna try and hold for the 12 months if I can. Look, 
I do have points where obviously I'm going to sell and just get out, but none of mine have hit them yet. And again, all these trades that I've put in, uh, I haven't put in a whole lot. We're not talking thousands and thousands of dollars. We're not even talking a thousand dollars. We're talking literally in a couple of hundred dollars for all of these. So this is where I got in. And again, we saw that rise and then it started to come back down and then it actually went lower uh, than my buy-in price. So I was a little bit worried, but then we found a bottom, pushed up and the lows have been higher until over here. Now the lows are starting to get lower. So I am really waiting to see if this low is going to break this low. And look, it's not too far off at the moment, but I am sort of hoping that it will just hold. Now again, with Verge, I'll get rid of this. We've been higher before. And this is just a little pump. And so it may come back down and sort of retest this. So that is really sort of my key level that I'll be looking for. Uh, the 046 thereabouts before this kind of move started. If it goes below there, then I may well just sort of, you know, pull out and go, all right, accept my losses. But again, I may still hold sort of around about here, you know, before this move. Because unless we go lower than here, then it's not a total bear market. This may well have been the bottom over here. This is as low as it sort of got. So this is, you know, where if it went below this, then yes, I would definitely be worried. Uh, and that's, you know, going to be basically a 50% loss for me. But 50% of not too much is not that bad. So again, I'm really sort of watching for this level. Are we going to break below here? And we are pretty close at the moment. But then I'm looking for around this 046 mark before this sort of move started. If it breaks below there, I, I generally am going to be somewhat concerned and I'll strongly be considering getting out of my position. But it's not guaranteed because again, we can just look at Verge. It's been here before and it's been much, much higher, much, much higher back in 2018. But it's really just been on a downward spiral like most cryptos and this is that accumulation period. And again, this is really, it's rock bottom. It's only been going up since there. And that wasn't too long ago. So this is back in May uh, is when it sort of happened. And since then, it's only been going up in the longer term, not in the shorter term. Obviously, again, we're looking at daily uh, candles here. So it's up and down and all over the place. But it has its big spike and it's pulled back. And now I'm hoping that this is just going to be some ranging. And again, really just watching for this at the moment that it doesn't go uh, below this so roughly you know the 05 050 051 and more so particularly again that 046 that's where i'll definitely be thinking all right maybe i should get out and last but lost last but not least digibyte so this one's hurting a little bit uh, so sorry, Verge wasn't my 30% uh, off. I think I'm only down about maybe 7% here. Digibyte is the one that's really hurting. So this is where I got in and I saw it pump a little bit higher uh, and then I've just seen it fall off and it has broken this trend line. So that is what's really concerning me at the moment is it's now outside the trend line. But I'm sort of waiting to see whether it might just start to range here because just because it's broken the trend line doesn't mean it's all bad news and completely bearish. I guess we're going to have to wait and see how this, uh, how low this goes. And again, really, it'll be back here before the move was made. So uh, the 112 mark is sort of where I'd be looking. If it got below there, then again, I would strongly be considering getting out of my position. But really, you know, if we go from sort of here all the way up to here this is the halfway mark here roughly so as long as we're above this i'm not con too concerned uh, and we are a little ways off here and again this is just taking a rough average but we got to zoom out in the overall scheme of things digibyte's been here before and it's been higher it's been a lot higher so this is what I'm looking for. This is why I'm not just scaling out and I'm not panicking just yet. But I definitely do have markers that I'm looking for uh, where I'll start to, you know, rethink, you know, do I stay in this or do I just accept the loss and get out? I don't like to accept losses. I'd rather just hold until they're in profit. But again, 
you know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I'm confident in uh, all of these at the moment because it's so early in a bull market cycle. I think in the long run, as long as I hold, they will be in profit. And I, even if it means I can't make as much profit with something else that was more profitable, I'd rather just wait until it does make some profit uh, and, you know, not accept the losses. And likewise, not pay those extra taxes that I'm going to have to pay if I can't hold them for at least 12 months. So again, 12 months is, you know, ideal where I'm planning to hold them and whatever profits there are in 12 months, you know, we'll see where we're at. But before these moves are really the key indicators. If we get down to any of those key indicators before any move was made, I'm definitely going to be worried. Uh, and again, really, it's more just that kind of halfway point. You know, roughly in here, so the $200, uh, not $200, the 200 uh, Satoshi, well, not 200 Satoshi level, the, I think it's five zeros there, uh, and 200 sort of level. This is going to be the rough average of the price out of this move. So until we sort of get below that, I'm not really worried at all. Uh, I will be waiting to see if it will just maintain its high above there. But anyway, that's it from me. Uh, so just a follow update on my trades. Look, I don't always get them right and nobody does. Anyone who's on YouTube or anywhere that's telling you they're just killing it all the time, they're not telling you the truth. Anyone can make good gains in a bull market though, but even in a bull market, you can make trades that don't pay off when you thought they were going to. And some might just be completely wrong. You know, I'm holding hope that none of these are completely wrong and I don't have to sell for a loss. But look, I accept the, the realities that that may be the case and I may have done that. Time will tell, you know, Verge has been around for a while and they're still active. So I'm confident that, uh, you know, they're gonna go up. Am I confident, them, confident of them in the really long term? No, they're still a fairly new project and I haven't heard of a whole lot of great updates for Verge, so we'll have to wait and see. Digibyte, been around for a while, have an active community, uh, and they're constantly out there working. So again, I'm still confident in them, uh, and Unibright, exactly the same thing. I'm still confident in them, and I'm just waiting to see if this W uh, patterns out. And again, we really just follow this trend line. Unibright is a very new project. They haven't been around long enough to, you know, really get too bearish on them really there only should be upside from here on for unibright unless something major happens and remember uh the coca-cola uh can not can company what is it uh company that moves coca-cola around the trucking uh company i can't remember what their name is sorry you'll have to excuse me but they are in partnership with unibright uh, and unibright's part of the baseline protocol and things like that so i am confident in the long run that i'll do just fine with these Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Uh, would you get out of these? Would you stay in and hold? Are you even worried about paying you know, the extra tax for getting in and out of trades before 12 months? Again, for me, I'm all about trying to make profits. It's not so much maximizing, although I'd like to maximize. I'd rather just make profits than uh, take any losses. And even if some have to take months and months and months to be in the profit, I would rather just wait. And particularly that 12 month mark. That's really what I'm looking for. In 12 months time, I will look where they're at and hopefully they're all in profit. And then I'll work out whether I would then you know, get out of those projects and just find ones that are a whole lot more uh, profitable. All right, stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that gain train and I'll see you next time.